good evening welcome to dot programming dot com uh, this is my blog uh, through this you can learn more about programming uh, languages like C, C++, C Sharp, Java, uh, Python etc. Uh, you learn many more uh, through videos and easy to understand uh, today I am talking about how to split a string in equal parts okay so what is the logic behind that actually uh, I want to take a number in which we can take uh, different parts okay so uh, let's to explain it <coughs> first to add a button with the text split string in equal parts okay so first of all take a variable in which we can take a string value uh, string value a b c d e f g h i j k yeah that's fine that is a string and also take a integer number uh, here is the part equals to 4 it means a string divided into the 4 diff uh, a b c d is a one part E F G H I is a two part and I K is the left remaining part. So uh, divide in equal chunks. So string after division is a uh, string type of variable. So for integer i equals to zero, i length. What is the length? So actually, length of the string integer len. Oops, len equals to str dot length so here is the length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 is a 10 so i equals to 0 and i 0 is less than to 10 and i incremented with i plus equals to part it means to 4 times incremented i 0 the second time i equals to 4 <coughs> I uh, okay uh, oops <coughs> oops I plus part is less than length okay so what should I do uh, I plus part it means 0 plus 4 is less than to len it means to 10 the yeah, condition becomes true so part what I contain so part equals to length minus 1 length minus I length minus I it means to len is a 0 minus uh, sorry 10 minus uh, I it means to 0 10 minus 0 part contains to 10 so after division the after division plus str dot substring substring actually cut the part starting point to ending point that is the i 0 to 4 so first of all the first condition becomes true and then next condition is true ok so what is the part value the next time 10 so only the in that case only single loop can run because in the condition part equals to contain 10 after one time traverse and after division value contain all the strings because the part contain 10 so oops or what happening Oh, the form 2 is run in the program.cs. Uh, I'm working in form 3.cs actually. You check it. That is a form 3 where I am working, and form 2 is running. So, program.cs file. Uh, 
change the <coughs> three here save this and start it again yeah split is string is equal yeah S string actually is not split because in the condition if i plus part is less than length i mean to say change it here i plus part is greater than length so first of all first of all condition first of all condition is false and after that condition true that is always that contained in the a b c d e f g h i j k so what uh so uh so change the condition here yeah. i plus part is less than it's not is greater than len so first time it will be false and but chunks is divided into the four parts that is there a b c d is a one part e f g h is a second part a j k is a third part okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial and please 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 watch my blog for better learning and more learning about videos from videos sorry Okay, thank you.